after we selected our street out in the woods and we got it down to our lumber mill and we've squared it out, it's roughly about an inch and a quarter, inch and a half in circumference. And it's a good number I like to start with. And in my wood shop, I have tools that help me. Um, belt sanders, we have um, electrical planers, uh, we have routers, all these tools help and they speed process up. But it's not my go-to choice of uh, tools. I'm pretty much a hands-on type of guy. So what I would do is I would use that machinery just to cut a notch into it and roughly form it. It would look like this when I'm done with the machines. And then my go-to tools, like I said, is just a one-inch planer. And it lets me round up the snake. So I'll use this tool. And when I'm done with that, I use a utility blade and I scrape. Okay. So I've gone from a big machine to a small, smaller one inch planer to a razor blade. So after I've worked on it for a while and I'm happy with the forming of it, uh, the snow snake would kind of look like in this type of a shape. Now this is a snake that I'm working on, it needs a new head. So I'll be working on that, but it just gives you a rough idea of how I shaped it. There again, a snow snake travels with his tail up, with his head up, his head's in, contoured to endure its travel, to, to endure its path. Um, some of the snow snakes that uh, uh, are, are new, they don't run as good as a snow snake that has been around in the game for a while. It takes time for these things to wake up and become alive. So a brand new snow snake um, takes a little while. Um, some of my, my couple snakes are there well over 20 years old. And to me, they're new. So just to give you an idea of how long it takes them to really get moving.